This is my current setup for my lift vehicle. I have a cell phone holder that all I have to do is push the cell phone in and it clock clamps in, which is really, really nice. Um, I have a cheap little um, USB cord here that has multiple things in there cost me about five dollars and i got two of them which i stick in uh my center console um i do have an air freshener i just got the n2 video camera which i have taken the wire and i've tried to feed it into the thing so it's as stealth as possible you can see I have a little wire here. By the way, do not use electrical tape like I did. It does not stick. Um, if you take a quick look there, you can see the wire going down. I had to make certain that it didn't show up. It didn't fall in under here and I really can't see the wires. And I taped what I could here so it all goes back here. I keep my cell phone charged um, by a battery bank that I got on Amazon. Um, it's pretty much, it's been plugged in all the day, all day long, um, to this, and it's only at 47%. I have been using this since probably about 10 o'clock this, this morning. Um, my phone is still fully charged and I still have 47% in here. Um, I do keep some index cards in there in case someone needs it. I have some tissues as well. Um, there's a cheap pen and some nap wipes and a rock because I can. Um, I have a uh, emergency hammer I've had for years now. Um, this is point supposed to kill the window. Um, it has a little, I call it the stabby point, over here. That is to pop any airbags you might need. And you can see it has a razor point on it as well for if I need to get the seat belts off in a hurry. Um, however, I've never had to use it and it's been there. I also have an easy pass, which isn't essential for New York drivers, I would say. Um, I don't have much need for it here, um, where I drive, but there is always that occasion. Um, I have a little garbage thing here. I've had it forever. Um, as you can see, it's seen better days. Um, I have a clipboard here. Um, it's not really for passenger use as it is become my food tray when I do decide I need a meal in the car. Um, I have also keep a notebook here for myself if I want to write anything down. If you want to get a notebook right now is the time right around school season. They're about 50 cents a pop. I'm just going to pause the video for a second and show you the inside of my trunk. So this is the inside of my trunk here. As you can see, I keep it fairly clean, except for some essentials that I prefer to keep in my car. Um, I have a towel here for any um, pets I might get or wet butts, whatever happens. These are barf bags I got from Amazon for about $9. I have a couple in my center console up front, but I keep the sack back here. Um, I have a microfiber cloth. I actually have two of them um, to keep the windows or wipe down the panels if I need to. Um, I've gotten got two uh, Febreze bottles here. I found this one at Walmart. It's for auto. Makes the car smell really nice when I need, need it. Uh, I have an unscented one too, which I probably don't really need for the car, but um, I got this one first before I found the car one. Um, another microfiber cloth. I have this Armor All uh, Fresh Protectant, which I try to use at least once a week, um, which is really nice. Again, I got some glass cleaner, which I tried to couple with a microfiber cloth, otherwise, it leads streaks. Um, I got this anti fog thing 
for my glass but I have to say it really doesn't work I applied it on one morning and that afternoon I all my windows were fogged up and I tried everything to defog them and it just didn't work I think it almost made it worse um, again I got this upholstery power out upholstery cleaner foam uh, for professional results again it doesn't work um, I would almost use I had better luck with using resolve um, pet and pet fabric stuff um, it just works better um, but I don't like to throw out anything so I'm probably just gonna keep it in there until I get tired so of it um, this I ideally won't need to use again until winter professional de-icer for windshield wipers this one actually works what I like most about this is it does have a little scraper on the top of the can um, come winter time I will put a scraper back in the car because anyone who lives in the northern New York knows we get winter I have a fix a flat in here as well um, in case of emergencies you know never know around here I'm sorry, there's black flies everywhere here. They love me. Um, I do also have jumper cables, um, which is always an essential. And I got this from my parents. I actually haven't opened it in a long time. Um, give me a second. And it does have an array of different things. It has zip ties in here if I need it. More jumper cables, although I really like the one. It has a tire pressure sensor, which I really wish I knew I had in here. Um, it does look like it has a butterfly knife if I need it. Uh, again, another puncture seal uh, can, which is going to be fantastic. Um, this appears to be a flashlight of some point which is great um, I have band-aids in here jump start kit looks like a terry cloth of some sort and a blanket if I need it as well as an emergency poncho um, so I'm actually really glad I just opened this up I wish I opened it up about a week ago but uh, this is really helpful to have if you can find that I think this was on Amazon uh, I really wish I knew what the company was unfortunately it's been several years but this is actually a great thing to have in your car. Um, I'm just going to pause the video again one more and I'll show you what else I have. I um, also do have these wonderful things to, to help with tires and, and uh, emergency breakdown reflectors if I need. So just give me a moment. May I also suggest that if you happen to be driving in a northern Adirondacks, you have a light color car, or in case you might break down, put some bug spray in your car. It'll save you a lot of aggravation later. Um, let me show you what else I have in this pocket. And the side, I have valve caps, which I found at Walmart. Um, they were like 98 cents. And that rare occasion that you happen to ha lose your valve, or you check the air pressure in your car and you lose it, here you go. Um, and like I said, I just bought a tire pressure sensor. It's nothing exciting, nothing to write home about, but it gets the job done. Um, and I have electrical tape in here right now because I was trying to tape the wires up. Now, I also have seat covers, which are essential. As you can see from the side, sides here, I do have a light color interior, uh, which means it gets dirty really fast. Getting a nice dark set of there, I'm going to say they are a bitch to put on. But you know what? They get the job done. And at the end of the day, they make the car look nicer and at least look cleaner for longer things. So I also have two hidden compartments in this vehicle. Um, as you can see, I keep drinks for myself. The nice thing about this particular bottle, um, um, it's a Pokemon, um, is I can actually slide this one here along my side and it fits very nicely there. 
Um, so I like to keep at least one drink here. This is, I usually try to do hot liquids or um, water. If you happen to be driving a long day, you want to make sure you keep yourself healthy and hydrated anyways. And speaking of that, the center console here. Now, the center console is mainly my domain. Um, as you can see, I keep snacks in here. Uh, I have mints for customers if they want them. Um, I keep gummy bears because who doesn't like gummy bears when you need, need one? Um, again, the Emirates bags. I keep about four of them up front in case. Um, this is my sunglass case. Um, I do not have transitions, so I do have prescription sunglasses, so if I do need them. I do typically keep these in my purse. Um, I actually was wondering where they went. Apparently, they went to my central console. Um, so this is a good thing to keep with yourself, because even if you're driving in the sun, transitions don't change over in, with uh, car windows. So having a good pair of sunglasses that you can put change into while you're driving, especially if you're driving into the sun, is a great idea. Um, again, this is the wire here um, because it's cheap. This particular one actually already broke. It still works, it just doesn't retract like the other one does. Um, I also have some other wires and things in here of older cables um, and a fork. Um, I probably just decided to keep it uh, because it was clean. Um, I like to keep this, like to keep snacks in my car for those long days. I don't really get much time in between trips. Um, and I'm, I need something to eat on to eat right away before I, I pass out. So it's a very good idea even if you don't have like a blood sugar issue. You just want to make sure, certain for those long nights that you have something and in my glove compartment here, it's nothing really exciting. Um, I'm someone that gets cold really easily. Um, so I do keep a sweater in here, especially if it's a prolonged ride. I like to keep my car comfortable for the customers. Doesn't always mean it's comfortable for me. So a sweater just keeps me warm and I can just shove it in there if I get too warm myself. Or if it gets to a point in the day that it's just too hot to have it. Um, I have spare... Um, I keep the car's information in here. There's an extra umbrella, a hairbrush. I keep a spare one of these in here. So um, when it is time to change up my order thing, which usually lasts depending on which one you get. This says 90 days. Um, it's been about 30 days with this one. It's been okay. Um, so that's the tour of my Civic. Um, it's a 2015. There are just some additional features I just want to show you that this particular car has that maybe other cars don't have. Um, I'm just going to turn it on right now. Um, you can see the camera now coming on. It is attached to the thing, to the car for power, but I can detach it later on. Um, the car has... You want to keep your tank as full as possible. That's my experience because you never know when that long trip is coming. And um, so I try to fill up at least once a day. Um, I also have a special car wash tag here um, that allows me to go in multiple times a day, um, multiple times a month. And this car wash is really nice because I can use a vacuum. Now you can see I have a couple features here. Um, the nicest one is this side view mirror. Now, if you look at the left passenger side mirror, you can see a little thing sticking out from underneath it. What that is, is my side view camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this button. And you can see what's to the side of me. Um, it's a nice feature with the Civic. They don't make it anymore with um, the newer models, but... Uh, the 14, 15, and 16 did have this. Um, it's a feature I really, really like. Uh, another feature I really like is the audio audio um, screen right here. It's right within my eye line here. Um, so this is info. I'm going to swap it back out to... I like to just keep the time and date up there for the customers. Um, 
when I turn on my thing, you can see it has the uh, name of the music and stuff. And um, I really like that I have, can control it from my car, uh, my car went, uh, steering wheel because it makes it very easy to navigate on. One of the things I also do is I do keep um, cruise control on my car pretty much at all points of time. Um, just because I, there is a lot of highway and northway driving here. Um, so it just is easy for me to flick it on. Um, that, I think, concludes my tour. Uh, for ladies, I do keep hair ties back here um, somewhere if I need to. Um, again, when it gets hot and muggy, I like to have my hair up. Um, so that's what I do. That's how I keep my car for lift. Um, I've only been driving about a month. Um, if you have suggestions or ideas what they could do to add to this car, that'd be wonderful. Um, if you like my setup, that'd be great too. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me and uh, have a wonderful day.